here. Hey, yeah. Oh, sit down, sit down. No, I knew you were coming. I knew you were coming. Trish told me. What? No, honey, it's no problem at all. I mean, you caught me right in the middle of nothing. You know what I was doing? I was painting my nails. I just finished, actually. You will see? Look. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just got it. I just got it today. I found it at Walgreens. It's, um... It's sinful colors, and the color name is Ice Dream. It's two words, Ice Dream, not ice cream. Dream, like D-R-E-A-M. Yeah. Well, if you like it, um, you know what we could do. Uh, when you come back, you I know you're coming in before Christmas. Are you going to the Jubilee tonight? Well, I am too. I am too. I, I could go home and change, but um, yeah. I'm going to be at the church probably about 7. Anyway. If you come in before Christmas, if you want to, I was thinking, you know, maybe something I was going to do for myself is take this color and only put it on, on these fingers right here and then do the rest in that snowflake uh, nail polish I have. You know, it has the little white snowflakes in it, but it's mainly clear. Do that over um, like a white base or maybe it may be black. Black would probably show up better for the white little white snowflakes on there and then just do this on these fingers. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be so pretty. Yeah, but I, well, I thought of that as soon as I saw it. I thought that would be so pretty with that because it's, it's blue, but it's super shiny. Now I took, it took about three coats. I think it was three coats and then I clear top coat over it to get it to look like that. It wasn't just like one coat and done. So that's three coats but I think it's worth it yeah so I understand I want to be helping you pick out a color for your hair now let me see do you mind do you mind if I take a look at I, I just want to look at your roots I'm not honey I'm not judging Poli girl you don't even want to see my roots they, they scare small children see for Halloween I don't even have to dress up I just let my roots grow out and let kids look at them now, you don't have that much gray. Why are you worrying about that? God, no, I got enough gray for both of us. Don't you even worry about it. But see, look, I, I got the raw end of the, the deal here because both my mom and daddy both, they, they both started going gray in their late teens. I kid you not. When they were 18, 19 years old, they both started going gray. I started going gray when I was in my early 20s, like 21 maybe. So when I first started really having problems with gray hair. So I've been coloring my hair for over 20 years. So you are not going to get any judgment from me, I promise. I ain't going to say nothing to nobody about no gray hair. But you don't have that much. You talk like you talk like it's all awful. Girl, you got nothing to worry about. But anyway, um, yeah, I, well, that's what Trish told me. Well, I brought some out here. You know, we keep some back in the back. And I know you were thinking about kind of doing a blonde color. Which, I mean, you basically already are. You're like a, I'd say a dark blonde. What they call it dishwater blonde. It's always sounded kind of gross to me. I mean, why do you want to describe somebody's hair as dishwater color? That's nasty. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you've been washing in there as to what color that dishwater is. But... I brought some I brought the boxes up I went and got I went to the stock room and I pulled some stuff out and I showed it to Trish and she's already approved all these colors so really whichever one you want to go with she said is fine with her now there were a couple I pulled out she didn't like and she took them out she just said they weren't good they wouldn't be good for your complexion so but let me show you what I got and then you can decide you know like if there's one that you like better um, let's see. Now this first one here. Now I pulled this one out first when you when I heard that you were concerned about the gray. But looking at you now, I don't know what you're worried about. You know what? I need to let my roots grow out for like two months where you can really see them, and you'll see you'll see when you have something to worry about. I'm serious. Okay. But I pulled this one out first. Now this is Clairol Expert the expert collection uh, age defy and it, it fights seven signs of aging hair and the color is light 
ash blonde. It's 9A. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the Clairol Expert collection, but I have used this myself. Um, it's not what I'm using right now. Um, don't tell Trish, but I'm actually... Actually, um, I'm using an online company to get my hair color right now. I didn't want to hurt her feelings because um, I haven't talked to her about doing my hair. I'm just trying to save a little bit of money in a rare Christmas stuff. So I'm, I'm actually just buying my own and coloring my own hair. Because normally I let her do it. At least half the time, you know. But... So, uh, yeah. Well, what do you think of this color? Now, you can see on this model right here, it's kind of light. Now, it says, I can't read that, honey. I'm sorry. And now, it says light ash blonde. And it does have some, it does have some ash in it. Um, and it's, it is lighter. Now, if you went with this, I would say that's probably a good two or three shades lighter than what you, the color you got right now. But I, mean, I think you could pull it off. Do you like this one? You do? Okay. Well, I'm going to set it right here, and we're going to keep that as a possibility. Um. Okay. Now, this one is a little bit different, but this is also the Clairol Expert Collection. Uh, and again, it's age defined. It fights seven signs of aging in your hair. This is Light Blonde. Now, there is a little bit of difference between light ash blonde and light blonde. You can see um, there is a slight difference in the color. You like the light ash blonde? I agree. I, I just think with your complexion that this the ash would look better. I'm going to set that light blonde aside. Now, I know, I know you wanted to go blonde, but... When I saw this color, I just thought of you. And I don't know why. I just thought you would like this. Um, but it is darker. But just keep an open mind, okay? This is John Frieda. Uh, a precision foam color. And it's dark. This is a dark blonde. This is dark caramel blonde. Color 7 NBG. Whatever that means. Um... But I, I know you said you wanted to go lighter, but look at this pretty color. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. It is such a rich, beautiful color. And I just, I really think that would look so pretty with your eyes and your skin. I just think it would be so, so nice. And on here it shows you the difference. Like if, you know, whatever color you start out with. Like you're about right in here. So on you would probably look about like that. What do you think? No? Oh, well, keep it in mind for later. <sighs> no, I just thought of something. The shiny fall on this box reminded me of some. When, when, when are you too old to get bent out of shape about not getting anything for Christmas? Do you think I'm too, do you think I have reached an age where, like, if I don't get anything, I should be okay with that? I know this has nothing to do with anything, but, um, I, I got a phone call from Mama this afternoon, and she has basically just canceled Christmas. And she, she put it out there like it was no big deal. And I don't know how to feel about that. I... I am. We're discussing color shades. Ash and light blonde and honey blonde. We're talking about blonde stuff over here. Are we totally, are we not? We're totally talking about something. This is work related. I'm not bringing anybody down. Oh my God. No, just get back to your curlers. Heavens to I, I just want your opinion about this. I don't know if I'm being childish or what, but Mama called me earlier, and she said, well, you know what, Lynette, I've just decided that with everything going on, I think we're just not going to give gifts this year. 
And I said, oh, well, okay. I mean, I guess that's all right. Now I guess I understand under the circumstances. You heard about, you heard about daddy. <laughs> I know, but you know what? If, it, if you'd been in his position, you probably would have done the same thing. I know I would have. Well, they're neighbors. You know, they live next to, um, they live next to the Hardisters. Well, the Hardisters, for whatever reason, took a notion this year to put out all their Christmas decorations, the, out, the outdoor stuff. I don't know about inside their house, but they got all their exterior stuff put out like a week before Halloween. They had everything out. They had everything plugged up. They had everything turned on. And we're talking like a yard full of inflatables and lights and animatronics. It's like it's like Santa Claus just threw up in their front yard. It is everywhere. And it's just trashy. I mean, there's way too much of it. Way too much. Well, Mom and Daddy didn't like it. But, I mean, I think they were okay with it for the most part. They were going to live with it. But then, <coughs> Mr. Hardister went out there. Um, I think it was about a week ago. Went out there and set up this motion sensitive this motion sensor thing and it was these gigantic chipmunks it was alvin and the chipmunks and every time somebody drove by they would start singing frosty the snowman and you know they live right off the interstate so there's a lot of traffic because you've got the the sheets gas station down there well people are always going by their house so you're hearing the chipmunks sing frosty the snowman 500 times a day and Mom and Daddy couldn't avoid it. It was so loud. And they tried to get the they tried to get them to turn it down and they said, Absolutely not. You're not gonna tell us what to do. And they called the police and the police said, Well, we can't do nothing. You know, it's no you know, we don't think it violates any noise ordinance or anything. Well, finally, one night, as you probably heard, everybody heard, um, Daddy went out to the garage, got the lawnmower, and and he went out there and he mowed over Alvin and the Chipmunks. Put a stop to that Frosty the Snowman crowd. <laughs> so he was in jail. And Mama had to bail him out. Um, and then they were on the news. I think they were on Channel 8. <laughs> I believe that's where it was. So that was kind of embarrassing. Although, I mean, everybody understood why. But it, she, she, Mama was embarrassed. So she's not even going to decorate this year. She's so depressed. And she's not going to do it. And uh, she said, well, you know, with Brittany, too. I mean, you, you know, you're not getting her anything, are you? I said, I'm on the fence on that. Well, let me tell you what she did. You know, she works. She got that job at Food Line. She's been working there for a while. i got to show you this like I'm actually doing my job. So we have this Vidal Sassoon. Well, Brittany was at work. And, you know, she's been working as a cashier. Well, I told her, I said, when you're at work, you leave that cell phone put up. I said, you leave it in your locker back there in the break room. Don't you have it out fiddling with it while you're working. You, They're not going to like that. Well, apparently she had it with her. She had it in her pocket or something, pulled it out. And she's sitting there. Well, standing there, she wasn't sitting. Standing there, supposed to be checking out customers. You know what she was doing? She was watching poopery commercials on YouTube. Poopery. You ever heard, you heard of that? Well, I hadn't heard of it until I found out why she got fired. Poopery is this stuff that you spray in the toilet before you go to the bathroom, and it's supposed to smell good or something. She's watching freaking poopery commercials at work, and cracking up laughing, leaving people standing in line waiting to be checked out. It's really pretty. So she got fired. Now, I, I didn't know, I didn't even know how to respond to this. I had to look up poopery. I'd never heard of it. I don't know where she heard of it. I don't know. But she no longer has a job. So she's going to have to find another job. And I've taken her cell phone away for playing with it while she was at work because she was not supposed to be looking at it. Um, and I told her that Christmas was up in the air. I said, I'm so mad at you right now. I don't even know that I want to give you anything for Christmas at all. And then Jimmy got banned from the Walmart. This was last week. I'm telling you, everything has happened to me. Everything. Jimmy got banned from Walmart for an incident in a propane aisle. He's not allowed back in there for a year. So I'm like, you know what? And it 
was totally his fault. And I'm still mad at him. I can't even talk about it. I, I'm just at the point now where I'm like, you know what? I, I don't even care if we don't even do Christmas. I don't care to get y'all anything. Poor Amber Lynn. She's, but you know what? She's not out of the woods either. She's been getting in trouble at school for kissing all the boys in her class. And one of the boy's parents is talking about filing some kind of sexual harassment lawsuit or something. I can't win. All these people. I just want to run away sometimes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm probably not going to get a present from anybody. And I probably won't get a present for anybody. I don't even know how I feel about this. This is not the way Christmas is supposed to go. And I know it's not all about the presents, but dang it. You know, I just don't think I can be like those little who's down in Whoville if the Grinch came and took all my presents. I don't think I'd be outside singing. I, I would, I'd, I, honestly, I'd be mad. I'd be mad. I wouldn't be out there holding hands in the town square singing Fahu Dore's whatever the heck it was they were singing some song. I don't think I could do that. I'm not a big enough person. I want my presents. <sighs> So it's like I need a Christmas miracle or something. You know, my whole family's just jacked up right now. It's beyond belief. It's beyond comprehension. So, am I too old to be disappointed, do you think? Maybe I am. Maybe I need to just accept it. That this is the way it's going to be this year. <sighs> well, at least I haven't done anything to get arrested or possibly sued or fired yet. Although Trish has given me the evil eye and I may get fired if I don't shut up. Sorry, I still got more to go through. Like I said, this is Feet House I soon. This is the Pro Series. Now, I have never used this before. I pulled it because I like the color. Now see, that this color is extra light cool blonde. And I know you have sort of a cool complexion. So I thought this would be pretty. You want to see it next to the ash? Okay, we'll see these two together. You like this one better? I think I do too. A little bit better. This kind I have used, and I've actually used this very color. This is L'Oreal Paris. Um, pre a superior preference. Mousse Absolute. I think it's French. Um, and it's an automatic reusable color and the thing I like about it is you don't really have to mix anything Inside the box you just have this mousse here and it has two different compartments in it And when you push down the top it blends those two parts together into this uh, White mousse that you put in your hair and that's all you have to do It's very simple and when you're gonna do your roots You just get out as much as you need and put it on there and that's it. You don't have to mix like if you wanted to buy some just to do the roots, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to buy a whole box just to do your roots one time. You could do your roots probably three times with this box. And this is color 900 Pure Light Blonde. You like that? Well, let's put it with the other one. And I'll show you the rest of these and then, and then we'll look at the ones that you've narrowed it down to. This is a very basic one, the, uh, the, but it's very popular. This is a uh, Clairol Nice and Easy. Again, it's a foam, but this is one that you actually mix in the bottle itself. It's not like that stuff I just showed you. It's like a one-time kind of thing. Um, but like the, the name says, it is nice and easy. It's not difficult at all. And this is color number eight, medium blonde. What do you think of that? No? Well, okay. I kind of like it. Well, here's another nice and easy. And this color is 104 Natural Medium Golden Blonde. Now, I know with the golden colors, that's usually better for a warmer complexion. And then you want to go with, um, is it natural or cool uh, for the, for an, an ash for the cool complected people like you and me but I just I wanted to offer this as an option it does have a little bit more of a gold color to it I didn't know if you might be interested in that no okay it says eight weeks of tones and highlights and color blend technology 
I mean, it is pretty. I don't know. Are you sure? Let me take a look at it again. No? All right. That's okay. Now, this one I have used, and I did like it. Um, this is Garnier Olea. And it is an oil-powered permanent color with a 60% oil blend with natural flower oils. And the color is 9.0 light blonde. You can kind of see back here uh, what it looks like. Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. It's very easy to use. Uh, and the color is very true to the, the box. Now, your hair is darker, of course. So, it's not going to come out exactly this light. But it'll be very, very close. I mean, even with me, like when I had my hair darker, I went from a dark to this. And I was impressed by how close it was to the picture on the box for me. I mean, it was it was really good. I was not expecting it to go that light. But we'll keep this with the other two. And let's see. Actually, you know what? I ended up with two of these. No, I'm sorry. No, this is a little different. It's not exactly the same. This is also clear all nice and easy, but this is color 105G. Uh, natural, medium, golden, neutral, blonde. <laughs> now, it does have golden in the title, which usually means if you have a cooler complexion, you want to stay away from that color. But it also has neutral in it, which usually neutral in the title means that either color complexion, either type of complexion can wear it. Now, I have personally not tried this, so I don't know. But I have used Nice and Easy before, and I have been pleased with the results. But now, I'm going to show you side by side. Now, this is the one I showed you a minute ago. And this is the Natural Medium Golden Neutral Blonde. I don't know how you feel about those. This one seems to be a little bit lighter than this. You don't like it? Okay, well, that's all right. I'm just going to put those back. Now, we're going to look at the three that we started, that, that you decided you liked. Okay, here's the first one. Actually, no. This was the first one. The Clairol Expert. And I really like this one, too. I think it's really pretty. This is the 9A Light Ash Blonde. See, because when I look at your hair... I, I do think this is a fantastic choice. I think that's going to look so pretty, especially now that you've grown it out some and it's getting longer. Oh, I think that's really pretty. Now, I'm going to hold this up next to the, the L'Oreal uh, preference. And we'll let you look at these two together. Now, tell me if there's one that you like better than the other. Let's see the tops. This one? Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the uh, Clairol next to the Garnier Olea. Time looking at it myself. I'll keep my choice to myself until you have had a chance to look. Yeah, you can look. You can touch. Of course. You still like this one better? Me too. That's the one I would go with, I think, for you. I think that would look so pretty on you. Okay. Well, this even has, um, this has Pantene Pro-V in it. You know, if you use the Pantene uh, shampoo and conditioner, you're, you're familiar with the Pro-V vitamins in the uh, shampoo and conditioner. And this says it even has Pantene Pro-V in this hair color, so that's pretty cool. Okay, well, uh, we will let Trish know what you picked. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I'm not depressed. I'm not. I'm not going to get down about it. You know, I, you know what I think I need to do? I, I think after the Jubilee tonight, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to put up my tree and listen to some Christmas music. And I think I'd be in a much better mood. And how you know the good part about not getting any presents from anybody else. It gives me gives me an excuse to go buy something for myself, doesn't it? I'll just go buy something for my dang on self. All right. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm not depressed at all. It's okay. 
it's all going to work out. Nobody's in jail right now. And Brittany will find another job. And hopefully Amber Lynn has kissed all the boys and she's done with that now. That would be nice because I don't feel like getting sued. <sighs> so it's going to be okay. Well, let's take your color on over to Miss Trish. I think um, she's about done. She's about done with Miss Pat. So I think she could probably get you on in there now. Okay. All right, all right, get your purse, get your purse. Okay, let me walk you over there. 